is in this video we will learn how to call external api and get data using the laravel http client so let's get started and let's see the example so you can see here there is a json placeholder web api there is a they provide the dummy api where we can get the like you know get the post using this api as a json you can see that one two three so they provide the post what we will do we will write the code on laravel and fire the call request and get all the post from this api okay so now let me go here and i also downloaded fresh laravel application you can see here and also added the database configuration over here okay and same thing if i go here i already run the application okay now let me go here and create one controller for for the example so i will php artisan mac controller and i will create post controller okay now it's created one controller now let me go here into the route and i will create one route call get and i will say simply post okay and then i will say post controller colon colon class and then i will say index method okay simply save it okay now let me use the namespace for that so i will say post controller okay save it okay now let me go here into the post controller okay now i will create one index method over here okay and i will get the i will call api using the http okay so you can see here i will use get method okay and simply i need to go and this api i just need to copy this api okay because this api has doesn't any like verification or authentication or anything okay so simply save it and you can also read the documentation http client over here so right now i just simply use http get request okay and then let me go here and i will say post and i will use response and body okay simply save it okay and first of all i will check it okay okay post how i getting it okay so let me go here and simply run the application again so i'll say php artisan serve okay and now let me go here and run the projects okay post okay and hit enter you can see that http not found so i need to use it over here so i will simply use the namespace simply save it okay and now let me go here and refresh you can see that i am getting all the data you can see that what we have over here okay so you can see that but it's returning as a string over here so what i need to do simply go to the documentation i get the body as a string but if you want to get as a json then you can see that you can use the json format okay so i will use simply json method and simply save it okay now if i go and refresh it you can see that 100 post i getting it you can see that and if i click on it you can see the title body you can see the same thing okay and now let me go here and i already created a database you can see that and there is a post table and i also created a model okay so now let me go here and i will simply go to my php my admin and then laravel simply i will say laravel and http you can see that i already run the migration as well so what i will do i will simply go here and i will use post model and here i will say for each loop okay for the post and here will be the post okay and here i will be use post create i will create post from the response okay so i will say title and what is the title i am getting from the post so i will say title key and then i will say body okay and then i will say post and what is the key for body so i will say it's already body here okay so i will say body and simply save it okay and at the end i will simply give the message like post fetched okay simply save it okay and now let me go here and run the example if i refresh it okay you can see that post fetched okay and if i go here and refresh it you can see that 100 records are created over here so you can call external api and easily get the data and store into the database as well using the laravel http client okay same thing this is the get request but what if you want to create like post so here if you go here you can see that there is a post request as well so i will give you the very simple example for it as well so let me go and create another route so i will simply say post slash create 
and here i will be simply add create method okay and let me go here and there will be a create method so i will simply say create and here what i will do i will simply call the api again so i will use http for it and i will use post request and simply go here and what is the post only post so i will use the same api but this above that was the get request here is the post request okay and the next if i go here what i need to pass is i need to pass title and body so i will comma and i will pass as an array over here i will say title and title will be the test and body and i will simply say test body and simply i will get again response and i will say response json and i will simply display the response okay and simply save it okay and now let me go here and run the application again so simply i will say create and hit enter you can see that title is the test and body and i got the id 101 this is the dummy api but it written in proper json with the id and with the title and body okay so you understand how easily you can call the post request and pass the data title and body okay so i hope guys you understand easily how you can call other api using the http okay so same thing if you go to the documentation there is a much more things like if there is a successful response the failed response and all the things you can get it like you can see here like if i got the response for example if i go here for the successful response what i am getting so let me go here and i will simply call successful and refresh again okay if i go and refresh you can see that true and false like if api call perfectly fine then it return true if there is anything problem then it will return false okay same thing if i go here fail header you can use whatever your requirement same thing there is also okay so let me go and use this api again okay and simply go here and refresh okay you can see that it's false because it's okay so that's why 200 so that's why okay and you can use go here and you can see here you can also debug it okay on http you can see post request that what we already fired okay and with the get request you can also pass the page one page two if your api has a pagination then you can easily pass page one like this way for example if you want to get the page two then i can pass like this way page two okay so it will return the page two data okay so same thing right now our api directly send 100 post from the api but if your uh, api has a pagination then you need to pass page one page two so you can pay pass the page like this way okay and same thing if you go down okay <clears throat> and then if you go here you can pass as a form as well okay and if you have an image then also you can pass as a best 64 string with the body like this way i will also create the video on it later okay with the attachment okay so you can see that as a documentation if you're if you need to pass the header you can pass with the headers like this way okay and if you go if you need to pass basic authentication then also you can pass the authentication with the username and password same thing if you want if you need to pass the token then also you can pass it so you you have the more option to pass the authentication parameter for the call request so if you need more information you can also go to the documentation and read it so in this example i just show you the simple call of ajax request uh, ajax request and get the data from the api so i hope guys this understand well if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys